hey, this is Grandmama. <clears throat> I heard my granddaughter said something real bad about me, but hey, I don't like gossip, so let's <laughs> cut that one right there. But you know what? Um, she's more crazy than I am. Yeah, she's so crazy. She's more crazy than, uh, uh, you know, acorns that fall from uh, coke sprays. Yeah, she's nuttier than them. Okay, come on, let's get on. Now, I don't remember what question I left off. So, uh, if you, I'll do number 16. If you were still alive at 175, would you think this was great or terrible? Oh, I think I did this one already. I think it would be terrible. Number 17, do you like reptiles? I love reptiles. Every kind, I love them. Uh, especially worms. Okay, number 18. Do you like it when aging active? I did this one. Aging action, aging action stars make a comeback, or do you think it's a bit embarrassing? What is an aging acting? Oh, acting star. No, I think we need our, all the old actors we can get because that's just not realistic. Just to have young people um, put all that makeup and glop all over the place and pretend to be old. Because, see, they haven't been old, so they can't get inside that character, so it looks fake. That's why we need the old people to be the actors, so it won't be fake. Just the old people actors. We need the young people, too, so it won't look so fake for the young person. I don't know. Let's do the next question. Okay. It would be number 19. If you woke up every single morning for two weeks to find that your underpants were missing from your body, what would you do about this? Well, honey, I would stay in bed for two weeks because I don't wear underwear anymore. I have to wear those adult diapers, and if it was missing from my body for two weeks, I just, I, w I would stay in the bed for two weeks, maybe take a shower every 10 minutes, but I wouldn't go anywhere, I wouldn't go out. Um, uh, so yeah, moving right along to number 20. Although wireless technology is happening already, do you think there's still too many wires these days? Oh, Lord, yes. Do you know how dangerous it is for an old person to, who can barely see, got to wear three pairs of glasses just to get out of bed, and then you have all these little invisible wires everywhere connecting who, one atom to another atom, and who knows what. So, yeah, there are way too many wires, and um, just... Get rid of the wires. Bury them under the ground like they do the telephone wires or something. Then I, all the old people would be pretty happy. Next question. Do you read while you're on the toilet? Well, actually, no. But what I do is I look at the f tiles on the floor and find faces and animals and things like that um uh, you know how they say if you look at a cloud you can see the devil well i know that's not true because that's just well you know you see what you want to see so i look for i look for jesus and bibles and unicorns and stuff like that now, i found my sister and a lot of places on those tiles. No, next question. If you were boarding a plane and you overheard the crew whispering about one of the wings being loose, would you get off the plane even if they assured you that it wouldn't drop off yet? Well, 
Not if he asked every passenger to chew a piece of gum and go out there and stick the wing on. Then it would stay on the plane. But uh, even if one person didn't have a piece of gum, I would get off and say, thank you very much. Find me a spot on the next plane out of here. There. Next question. Number 23. There are two people hanging off a cliff. One of them is somebody's child. The other is your brother. Which do you reach for first? Well, I would reach for the child because me and my brother have been having this fight for about 30 years and we just don't get along. So I would definitely save the child. Number 24. If your government announced that there will be a new breathing tax because you are inhaling the country's air, would that be the straw that broke the camel's back? It didn't. Didn't Monsanto or something uh, try that little trick already? Because he just taxes everything. He's got to tax a one little piece of pollen flies across your yard and you've got to pay a $20 tax on every one of those little pieces that flies across your yard. I think he already made it a breathing tax. That's, that's why the Social Security can't send me so much money. And uh, I have to eat the pollen because I get hungry. So um, if you see Monsanto, you tell him Grandmama said, you tell him Grandmama said, hey, <laughs> okay, uh, let's finish this tag with a normal, extremely easy question. What is the meaning of life? Well, honey, I don't know, but it won't be long before I can tell you because as soon as I die, I'll come back with the answer. And every single person that wants to know, I'll come and see them and I'll tell them the secret. And that is all. And Grandmama is way past her bedtime. I should have been in bed about three hours ago. So, good night, y'all. And I am not that shit crazy. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Good night, y'all. I love you.